The first bit of bad advice that I'd like to cover is the more is better mentality. Very often people think, well, if something is good, some amount of this thing is good, more must be better. But when it comes to hyperbaric, that is certainly not true. So this isn't about how much can I get and how do I get the highest exposures possible? It's about what are my goals and how do I make sure that the pressure that I'm receiving is a good match and will help me reach those goals. In some cases, depending on whatever we're trying to solve, higher pressures can even be more dangerous. At higher pressures, you're more prone to oxygen toxicity. At higher pressures, you're going to be receiving increased levels of oxidative stress. At higher pressures, you may be bypassing some of the benefits that you could have had at lower pressures, again, depending on what the goal was. Additionally, on this more is better topic is frequency and duration. From a duration standpoint, it's very common to have protocols of five days a week, six days a week, maybe even seven days a week for some period of time, depending on what we're trying to help somebody with. But just like every other therapy that we utilize, we should have some type of press pulse method. We should push the therapy for a period of time and then back off, push it again for a period of time and back off. And one of the things I see is that people tend to get into it and then stay into it without ever really giving it the breaks that they need to allow their body to just catch up, recover, heal, and then get pushed again. So not only is more not better from a pressure standpoint, more is not necessarily better from a duration standpoint in terms of the, the protocol. Breaks are necessary periodically when you're utilizing hyperbaric.